Shadow the Hedgehog is a video game designed to subvert people's expectations. I'm not trying to deny that this game has flaws, all games do. I could sit here and nitpick Shadow the Hedgehog just as easily as I could nitpick any game. Probably. This is merely my subjective opinion, and if you disagree with me, you are objectively wrong. And sexist. You can cry all you want in the comments about Shadow the Hedgehog having a gun, or this game's use of adult language. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? But at the end of the day, this is a true love letter to the Sonic series that allows it to stay relevant in the modern era. Sure, you could have Sonic go through the same old Green Hill Zone level every game doing the exact same thing, but then every Sonic game would be a repetitive, fan-pandering, superficial experience. Or you could make a unique and subversive game by giving Shadow an AK-47. These are the only two options, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I believe Shadow the Hedgehog is one of the greatest pieces of media in video game history that defies the genre itself. I cannot stop thinking about its incredible themes, and I truly believe it will be looked back on as the Citizen Kane of gaming. But if you hate it, remember that this is a stupid space hedgehog game made for children. But with that being said, I want to talk about how Shadow the Hedgehog tackles the theme of racism, and more specifically, internalised racism. And if you think that sounds ridiculous, then perhaps you weren't paying enough attention. Disgusting black creatures, get out of my sight. The fact that Shadow the Hedgehog is willing to discuss such a contentious issue so unapologetically is what allows it to thematically ascend the series into a more complicated piece of media. However, before I talk about what it does right, I must first talk about its most problematic aspect. While Shadow the Hedgehog is clearly black, he is voiced by a white man. While blackface was rampant in 2004 and was deemed socially acceptable back then, now we have evolved enough as a culture to see the harmful impact it has on minorities. This doesn't excuse the game but allows us to analyse it from that cultural context. That aside, let's talk about how Shadow the Hedgehog tackles the theme of racism so well, by first returning to that previously shown line. Disgusting black creatures, get out of my sight. Sociologist Karen D. Pike defines internalised racism as the internalisation of racial oppression by the racially subordinated. Now what do we see here? Well, Shadow, a black man, is using the word black in a derogatory way. He has internalised his oppression. Also notice how Sonic, a white man, is looming in the background approving of this. However, upon closer inspection, this symbolism is even deeper, because Sonic is in fact blue. This means he actually represents the police, an institution known for its systemic racism. It is amazing how within this 5 second clip alone, Shadow the Hedgehog is able to so effectively deconstruct and explore the racial issues we face in America. But this is a running theme all throughout the game. Looks like these black creatures really mean business. All points bulletin. Be on the lookout for Shadow, the black hedgehog. Looks like the black creatures have turned tail brand. Estimated over a thousand black aliens inbound. All throughout the game, Shadow must deal with his tragic past as a black man. This works on a literal level, as Shadow has experienced a lot of brutality in his past, 
but this also serves as a metaphor representing both America's dark past with slavery and racial segregation. Shadow's character arc finally comes full circle at the end. It doesn't matter which ending you get, Shadow will always finish the game by saying the phrase, This is who I am. 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 Shadow ultimately realises who he is and accepts himself as a member of the black community, finally undoing his internalised racial oppression. In some endings, he even defeats Dr. Eggman. What? Goodbye, Doctor. <laughs> who is an obvious standing for Donald Trump. But that is a video for another time. At the end of the day, this game got people talking about Sonic the Hedgehog in a deeper and more philosophical way than ever before. It may not be perfect, but I deeply believe it will be looked back on in history as one of the greatest games ever made. While you may not have wanted a Sonic game to tackle the subject of institutional and internalised racism, Shadow the Hedgehog doesn't care about what you want, but rather what you need. Which is why Shadow the Hedgehog is at its core a masterpiece. I hope you can join me for my next video where I talk about Teletubbies and its themes surrounding abortion.